Hey, weirdos. I'm back with another recommendation for a uh, podcast if you're looking for something else. It's called Harsh Reality, and in the early 2000s, millions of households across the world, they tune in to watch contestants battle for the last rose or to be the final survivor on the island. Reality TV. It was beginning to dominate the airwaves, and every show needed to be bigger, flashier, and more scandalous than the previous one. But in the case of one infamous dating show, the real drama was happening off-screen, and it would shape the future of reality TV. The reality TV series was called There's Something About Miriam. It seemed like a pretty standard dating competition, too. Six young men vied for the affection of Miriam Rivera, a beautiful model from Mexico. But when Miriam revealed that she was a trans woman during the show's finale, the on-screen drama sparked an international uproar about gender, sexuality, and whether reality television had finally gone too far. Wondery's new podcast miniseries, Harsh Reality – The Story of Miriam Rivera, reveals what happened behind the scenes of this infamous TV show and how a multi-million dollar lawsuit and media fallout impacted the lives of Miriam and the contestants and changed the rules of reality TV forever. I'm about to play you a preview of Harsh Reality, but while you're listening, be sure to follow Harsh Reality – The Story of Miriam Rivera on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or you can listen early and ad-free by joining Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts or the Wondery app. In fact, I have a link in the show notes for you to do exactly that. Here's a quick sample of Harsh Reality – The Story of Miriam Rivera. Dom passes long rows of desks lined with brand new Apple Macs, clear with turquoise backs. On each desk is a cup of branded turquoise pens with the name of their company printed on the side, Brighter Pictures. In the conference room, they have Dom sign a non-disclosure agreement, standard practice. Then they switch on a screen. I was shown a video of Miriam. In my world, we all know Miriam. We all know how captivating she is. So I have no trouble imagining what Dom was thinking looking at her. For one thing, she's beautiful. The camera loves her. She could be a movie star. Straight, glossy black hair. The latest designer shades perched on top of her head. Long, tan legs for days. But a lot of people are beautiful. Miriam is magnetic. At the time, she was 21, living in New York and working as a model. You can tell from her smile that she's got a sense of humor. She's flirting with the camera, turning and walking away, answering questions about her hobbies. Watching the footage, it's hard not to love her. The video ends. Dom nods. You see a lot of these screen test videos when you work in TV, but Dom can tell there's something special about Miriam. He looks over at Remy, who is watching him intently. Is he missing something? You know, didn't have a clue what was going on until Remy said, well, the thing is, she's got a cock. And then I realized everything was a bit different. And that's the show. That's the pitch Joe Pilkington had heard in her office at Sky. The one that's going to upend reality TV as we know it, push the culture forward, excavate the profound and twisted depths of male sexuality. The show that's going to be a hit. And the name of the show? There's something about Miriam. Six open-minded, liberal guys will spend two weeks in an island paradise with Miriam. They'll complete challenges, go on dates, and try to win her heart. One by one, she'll send them home. She'll choose a winner. And then she'll tell him, on national TV, what the producers have been making her keep to herself. The cameras will be rolling, the lucky winner's face in frame, and everyone watching at home 
will wait with bated breath to see what he'll say next. And that, boys and girls, is entertainment. From Wondery and Novel comes a new story about love. We had discussions. What What if you actually fell in love? And she'd say, well, that would be great, but it, it, it's very unlikely. Lies. If the secret got out, it was game over for the show. And reality TV. I can't remember whether it was ever proved or just a rumour that the villa had been used for porn films. <laughs> just had that feel about it. I was just blunt with them. And was like, yeah, you should feel guilty, actually, because you signed up for this and you knew what you were doing. They ripped her apart. The British tabloid press ripped her apart. You know, they'd stitch us up. We're going to stitch them up as best we can. Why? Why would you do this? Who are you to do this? Do you realise the damage you've done by doing this? Follow Harsh Reality, the story of Miriam Rivera, on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or you can listen early and ad-free by joining Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts or the Wondery app. Look for the link in the show notes. Someone said, hey, we'd love to have you on the show. This is what happens next. Give us a few weeks and then we'll fly you out to Spain and screw your life over.